Hugs. It's that time of the year. I have been trying to figure out a Christmas video for like three years now, and I always fail, but I got lights up. Look at that. I got a couple. I got some lights up. You can't see it, but my TV's right there. Ooh, 50. Right there. It's right down there. And I got some nice fake snow underneath it. Feeling very festive. Thank you very much. I'm glad you noticed. When I think of Christmas, I think of my childhood and just growing up in western Pennsylvania where there actually was a winter and a white Christmas most of the time. My childhood was epic, and I mean that literally. I don't mean that as an exaggeration. My childhood could fill the pages of a dozen odysseys. If it was turned into a movie and shown as a marathon on Christmas Day, it wouldn't even finish playing through once. Shoot your eye out with that one, Ralphie. My first year out here in California, I spent December here. I spent Christmas in California, which was pretty sweet, because I was like, yo, Santa Monica, 70 degrees. But a lot of them have never actually seen snowfall as precipitation. To me, that's really interesting. Flat back to the actual story. And there's these little kids playing in these bubble makers. And they're just like running around with each other and, you know, playing in the snow and like catching these nasty things on their tongue. And I'm hoping to God that like as a child, they don't actually think that's what snow is like. That's what snow feels like and tastes like. Really, snow, you don't understand until your big brother rolls up a snowball which actually turns to ice because he packs it too tight and domes you with it, smacks you right in the face. That's a real experience. And I'm also thankful for the generation that I was raised in because we didn't have this freaking Pop-Tart that just controls my life. I'm thankful that I was raised before that. This is probably dead. This is extinct. This is the magic of a 90s-ish childhood, okay? So you wake up in the morning, you peek out your window, <laughs> it might be frost, don't want to panic, don't want to get too ahead of yourself, but you're like, yay, it's snowing. <laughs> Snow, white out, beautiful. You know what you do next? You freaking run downstairs, you sit down on that couch, put on the news, and there's this little, like, stock ticker at the bottom of the screen that shows every county, every school. School closures, school closures, come on. Mine was an A, I was in Armstrong School District. So if I ran downstairs and hopped on the couch and put it on, it was the B's, I would have to sit there for like 15 minutes for it to get back to the A's, right? And you finally see it, it'll be like Armstrong School District. Oh yeah, BS 118. Closed. Yes! Hello. Yes! And you hurry up. You don't care what time it is. You don't have a cell phone to be like, blah, school's closed. Smoke ball 420 swag. You get your coat on and you throw on your gloves if you have them and you run outside and you flop down your first hill or whatever. Can you believe this? Here we go. Hey, are there any old people that can relate to this? We got an old person over here. And you would run door to door. Can Ben come out to play? You would freaking next one. Can Sean, can Nina, can Rachel, can Jake, can Kevin, can Kyle, can Tyler, Mike, everybody, and Buzz, and little Buzz. All of you guys just I don't think there's any of that anymore, unless your kids are deprived of cell phones, but I see some young kids with them already, and it just, it makes me kind of sad because like, that was part of the experience, to just like, wait to see your school status, and to run outside, and to develop the social skills of making something happen. You gather up all the kids around town, and just, Go sledding or have a snowball fight, or build snowmen, make snow angels. That's one thing we haven't done, but after watching that, I wanted to try it. Can't do that in California either because there's no water. Thanks, California. Megan, I am so thankful to grow up in the generation I did, in the area I did, and in the family that I did. Whether you just agree with me and you're like, yeah. I had snow days. I know what it's like to grow up. I know what it's like to be from a place without cell phones. Or something much better. Let the game begin! Share it somewhere public and as the caption, show what you appreciate. Send some love to your fam, to your friends. I'd love to see it. I love positivity, man. I hope you all have the happiest of holidays. Merry Christmas. Uh, be safe out there. Stay warm no matter where you are. It's cold in LA right now. It kind of sucks to be honest. It's like 45. But no snow. <laughs> You guys have a good one. Links will be below if you want to follow me elsewhere. Peace, guys. Must rescue the missionaries! Yeah!